Since 1967, Toothacre's Pet Care Center provided the finest indoor-outdoor boarding environment for your pet. We accept all breeds of dogs, and our newly remodeled cattery features spacious 9 square feet personal accommodations for your feline friends. For more information on pricing and availability, check us out at our website at www.toothacres.com. Kenny Matthews, Friday Night Glory. Out of Colorview Heritage today, and boy, these Panthers. A couple days we head to state in Austin. We had a big, thrilling week, um, a weekend win over um, Justin Northwest. I'm here with Lindsey McConnell. Here with my friend Corey Morrison. Um, we had a we had a little error the last time, about a couple months here. So I'm glad Panther Nation we got to come back here. I'm um, Corey. Let's talk about last weekend, the emotions. I mean, you get out to the big win on um, Wednesday, six to one or six to zero. Then you, you lose on Friday, then coming back and winning a thrilling one nothing game. Can you talk about a little about those emotions throughout the weekend? I don't think we let it affect us at all coming in the next day. We just came in harder because, like, all our seniors graduated, so that was really exciting, and we weren't negative at all. We used that as motivation because even though we didn't have practice, a real practice the day before, we still got right back on the horse. <laughs> Lindsay, um, you pitched your tail off. Um, only gave up one earned run throughout the weekend. Can you tell me what was working for you best and, and just talk about being locked in that way? Yes, um, my curveball was definitely working the best and I was just really locked in with just, we had a lot of good energy and just kept on staying in it the whole time. <laughs> um, Corinne, we talked a little bit a couple months ago that you guys weren't in the right place mentally yet as a team. What's changed in the last two weeks and the last two months that made you kind of bond together to get to this goal of getting the state? I think a lot has changed. We all love each other now. We're all really playing for each other, and we're not playing to not make an error. We're playing to like love softball instead of just like okay, ooh, if you know. <laughs> um, can you talk a little bit about just been the grind of this season to try to get to this point, and then being able to kind of get through that doors the first time getting back to state since '98? Can you talk a little bit about how the emotions of the ups and downs of the season was? Yes, um, we've definitely been working hard, and we started you know, doing conditioning and PC stuff and just, it's all paying off. And so that just really encourages us to keep going through practice and everything. Well, great. You've been there this already just a few months ago. Can you talk, can you kind of relate the two seasons? Do they kind of mirror each other? Are they a little dad bit different? Or are you just feeding off the experience because you've been there and done that now? I'm kind of feeding off the experience, except this time I'm actually playing. So that's a little bit different, but the camaraderie of like making it to each next level and like all the people surrounding you, I think that helps having seen that before and playing under the pressure. You a little envious that she's got one and now you try, you're trying your best to get one now? Yeah, <laughs> yes, for sure. Um, being the pitcher, I know that there's a lot of responsibility that goes with that, being the ace of the staff. How do you need to make sure that you can kind of harness the emotions to try to make sure that you're back to your game that you were this past weekend? Yes, definitely just keeping that next pitch mentality. Like if something happens, you just kind of brush it off and just keep on working and knowing my team's got my back, defensive and offensively. And my last question to be to you two, both of you can answer this. Um, when you had your pal up, what were the emotions after the end of that game? What was going through your mind? And just kind of express, you know, the, you know, Fighting through that to get to that goal, what's the first thing that came through your mind? I was really proud of Lindsay because I knew we were sitting over here and she was tired. And I, I can't imagine trying to pitch three straight games like that with only a little bit of relief. And I was just so proud of her. I got teary because she's my sister. But, but I was excited. I was like, no way. <laughs> what about yourself? I was just so excited and so happy and that all our hard work's paying off. And, you know, we've been saying we're going to state like all season, but now it's actually happening, so it's exciting. Well, when I talked to you back a couple months ago, you said you wanted to be like Alito. Well, guess what? You're not Alito this year because you're going to stay. So. <laughs> oh, God. About here at Kellyville Heritage, Kenny Matthews with Friday Night Glory with a couple of my two friends here. I get to see them in a couple days. Forever.